previously. Right, so I've just got back from putting this stuff away and I've also looked up regarding the Wall of Flesh and Skeletron. Oh! It's been a long time since I've seen a wolf. Um, and the Skeletron mask, yeah, there is only one variant of it, so I don't need to worry about that anymore. I have the Skeletron mask, we don't need to fight that. And in terms of Wall of Flesh, the Wall of Flesh does have a mask, so we will need to do that. I figured I would spend the rest of the night going through looking for a pengling, but there is no pengling to be seen. So let's go home. And turn off these traps. I don't have anything to sell. I got some stars to put away. I might as well. I used a bunch of them, didn't I, to create mana stars for what's her face, Roseanne. Done. Right, so things to get done. Let's have got my list. Uh, we could do the wall of flesh. We still need to do the 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 um Eat of Worlds, which is rotten chunks and and vile powder actually. Oh we're running low on this stuff. Now the drop rate it seems I don't know if it's true for all, but I looked at um, a few of them, and the drop rate for the masks appears to be fourteen point nine seven percent all across the board, basically. At least for the Wall of Flesh and the Eater of Wells that I'm going to try and do now. Now, I tried reading on this, but it didn't specify, so I'm not sure if this is true or not. But I'm not sure whether or not the Eater of Wells has a 15% drop chance from each piece of its body, or just the final one that you kill. I, I don't know. There was no information on that. So what we'll do is we'll just create three more of its summoning items since we can do that during the day. And then once we have that one, we are all but done. Because the wall of flesh cannot be done in this world because of the stupid, stupid reason that it's... In fact, I haven't tried since the patch, so I don't know if it's been fixed. I'm just going to stay here and assume that it's been glitched. Um, stayed glitched because I don't want to risk losing more of my resources trying to bring it out and it turns out it's not working. Alright, we'll fly over here and we will do this fight in style since we can get our flamethrower to pretty much annihilate him. So we just stand here and do it and then just keep our eyes open. Let's go! Right, so that's all of our worm food gone again. 
And I actually find it hilarious that we take more damage picking up his treasure than we do fighting him. Right, I think that is everything gotten here. We need to fill in uh, this with these. And just quickly glancing over my inventory there, it doesn't look like we were able to pick up the mask, which is very unfortunate indeed. Oh, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks, but... Let's go and... You know, we've really got nothing else better to do, so we might as well just keep trying this. And, you know, it gets... It's not just one thing crossed off our list, it provides us a means to cross an entire category off our list. So it's not just get the Ayakafulu mask, it's get all of the masks. And this just brings us one step closer to that. So this will be three more. I think that's all I can do, actually, because I think it costs 15 per Rotten Chunk. Now, Rotten Chunks, if you recall, come from the Eaters. I think it just comes from the little Eaters, doesn't it, that fly around. Or maybe not, I don't know. We'll have to see. But I did set up a grinder and I got loads of them, which is why I have like 300. But we've just been working our way through them. And we're very, very low. So if we don't get the mask from these three, I don't think we're going to be getting it, not this recording session, because I'll need to do a, a, another AFK grinding session. Which is annoying, to say the least. So let's try again. <laughs> I just summoned an eater of wealth and it didn't turn up. That absolutely sucks. That really sucks because we were already low on items to summon him. And there were to, for it to cheat us like that. Oh, that sucks so badly. I'm really, really annoyed with that now, actually. Ugh, the bosses in this game, so many glitches with them not actually spawning. Let's get our way through here. Let's drop down. Let's see if there's anything down here. Doesn't really look like there's anything worth picking up. Look at me. Look at my health. I get absolutely battered by my own traps. Oh no, that wasn't good. That was a weld feeder. Not the one I wanted. Not the one I wanted at all. Right, so really, our only other choice now is to go to another world to fight... <laughs> uh, to fight the Wall of Flesh, because he's not going to come up in this world. Excuse me, Walter, I would like to come in and sell you some stuff. Take this and this and this and uh, these, sure. No, I, I just take the demon right off. I don't even care about it anymore. I've been saving it up for so long. Take the Shadow Scales, take the potions. I've lost all interest in this place. So I need some voodoo dolls. And how many voodoo dolls I have is anybody's guess. Because I used them before to try and get the Wall of Flesh trophy. Which really ate into those things. So. They're probably in here. If not, then they're in here. I mean, um, this one. So I have 
two. Are you kidding me? I only have two. That is not good at all. That means... I have to go farming those freaking demon things. So everything again is back down to drop chance. Blah, I hate that so much. Right, is there anything I can do that doesn't require me to be fighting it? Yeah, it does. I can catch these pets. But catching these pets requires them to show up, which is not happening. Uh, hang on, let me have a quick sneaky look. Have we had a plantera bulb spawn in down here? It doesn't look... Oh, we have! We've had a plantera bulb spawn in. Now, I mentioned... Um, someone keeps leaving in the comments the fact that they they come up as a different shade of pink, which is easy to notice. It's not. It's not easy to notice at all. I mean, can you really tell that there's a, another one there? That's so hard to tell that there's another one there. It's on the very first column at the top on the right-hand side. Yeah. That's not easy to tell at all, surrounded by all that other pink, let alone when it's down in the jungle amongst all the other crap. So we're going to go fight Plantera one more time, and that will give us an opportunity to get the axe again, because, you know, it's a red drop, and we would very much like to get it off our list, because it's been on our list for such a long time, since, I think, I started the series. I think the axe has been one of the things I've been focusing on trying to get. So let's fight this Plantera. Boop. Hey, we've got a Plantera trophy. If only we didn't have ten bajillion of those things already. Right, so that is... Oh, look at this pumpkin. What are you doing there, buddy? What are you doing? Just... Oh, he's off. He's off. Oh, he's come... Back and he disappeared. Oh, well. Let's go home. <laughs> so we didn't get what we wanted. Which was to be expected, to be honest, because we never do. Now, one thing I'm actually quite surprised about is the fact that it hasn't rained... In forever. Usually, this place is like always constantly like in monsoon season, but we haven't had any rain in a while. And uh, normally, I wouldn't be complaining about that, but I mentioned about the fact that this worm appears in the rain. Now, penguins. I keep going back to the penguins because there's really very little I can do if I stand still for a second. Where's my list? Bunnies got, squirrels got, penguins we need, birds got, blue jay we need, cardinal, mouse and worm. So mouse is kind of underground wandering around. I guess once we do our iron run, trying to get a bunch of iron, uh, that will be when we find the mouse. The worm, we need the rain. The blue jay, I've seen them, they just don't seem to show up anymore. I don't know why, and then the penguin. The wildlife in this world is just, just non-existent. So usually a blue jay is like hanging around out here on my doorstep. With a cardinal and a bird. But no more. No more. Yeah, this world is like barren of all pets. I didn't mean to do that. I want to go down here and then do the top one. I think... I'm going to end this recording session. I didn't want to, there's more that I want to do. But at the moment, it's just waiting around for stuff, which is not good. So what I can do is, if I end the session off camera, I can do a, a bit of grinding, get more resources to do the um, the summonings. Which I guess would be an improvement. But I think So if I'm going to end this episode, I'm going to end it with a Plantera battle. Why not? Here is Plantera. Here there's a life fruit down there too. Let's get rid of these guys. Now, uh, something I actually want to mention. In fact, I'm not even going to put a fast forward on... Um, um, I'll add some music, but I'm not going to put a fast forward on this Plantera fight. Because uh, I want to talk. Something I've been thinking about doing for a little while. 
and don't worry this won't interfere with our regular videos is I've been thinking about doing a special video every so often maybe recording a bunch at one time and you know, releasing them every few days regarding the stuff that I've built in this world in case people want to know how so for example my golem grinder someone left a comment saying that it's going to help them in their world and I thought what I might do is to do an in-depth look at the wiring and how it's set up and why it's so good and then do the same for my you know my big arena over here a close up on the wiring and all that stuff uh, and anything basically that I've set up that is helping me for grinding and stuff I figure I might do an in-depth video on that so don't think it's going to replace these regular videos because it's not you'll still get these every day it's just gonna be a bonus little video along the side saying you know this if you want to copy this this is how you do it because some of these things I didn't do let's builds for some of these were pre let's builds and some of these I built in episodes so if I give a quick rundown I figure that might help so in fact when this video goes up I might have already done that who knows but I think for now that is gonna do it when we return I should have done a big grinding session Oh, werewolves, fantastic. I need to unlock these doors. Um, so when I return, I've done a big grinding session, hopefully. Got loads of resources ready to fight these bosses again. And take on more challenges and whatnot. But when we return, we will be returning with a Let's Build. Because it's been a little while since we've had one. And according to my Let's Build list, we have one, two, three, four, five, six more Let's Builds in mind. More have been added since before. So I have... There are three or four I kind of want to get done. We'll see. For now, though, goodbye.